Back in Vanilla WoW, there was a dagger called Finkel's Skinner, which dropped off the beast in Upper Blackrock Spire. The dagger was one of two items in Vanilla WoW that gave a plus 10 skill up to skinning while it was equipped. Since not all classes could equip daggers, others were forced to farm the sword Zulin Slicer instead, which had a similar equip effect. Now, what's different about these skinning knives, as opposed to other skill up items, is that these were needed for progression rating. In Blackwing Lair, back in Vanilla WoW, many bosses use an ability called Shadow Flame, which did so much damage that it still killed players up to level 80 who were going back and farming the place two expansions later from unhealable damage. The only way to counter the damage was to wear a cloak called Onyxia Scale Cloak, which had the effect of protects the wearer from being fully engulfed by Shadow Flame. You could not clear Blackwing Lair without this cloak, but I've heard that some raids could get by with only the tanks wearing the cloak by cheesing certain bosses. But even then, at least one person had to have it equipped. Now, the cloak itself wasn't a rare drop or anything. It was simply crafted by leather workers and could be learned when you turned in the quest for defeat Onyxia. One of the biggest problems with crafting the cloak, however, was that one of its materials for crafting it was a scale of Onyxia. The scale of Onyxia could only be obtained from skinning Onyxia, which is where the skinning knives I mentioned earlier come into play. The maximum level for skinning in vanilla was 300. You needed a skinning level of at least 315 to skin boss level mobs. There was an enchant that could give you plus 5 skinning, but that only brought you up to 305. So in order to get that last 10 levels, you needed to obtain either Finkel Skinner or Zulin Slicer, depending on which class you were. Or you could just equip both of them if you were a hunter and not worry about the skinning enchant. And that's what made these skinny knives so sought after. They were required to skin a boss who had a one-of-a-kind mat needed to make a cloak that was needed for progression rating. But luckily, you only really needed one person in the raid to have one. And since raids were comprised of 40 people back then, there was a good chance at least one person was both a skinner and had one of these weapons to skin the boss to make some cloaks. Required gear for certain bosses was a big thing in Vanilla WoW, so this wasn't even really that big of a deal. At least it was only one item and not a full set of resist gear. Sadly, neither weapon is available to obtain in game anymore as both the bosses they dropped from have been removed, with Zulin Slicer being removed in Cataclysm with the Troll Dungeon revamps, and Finkel Skinner being removed in World of the Draenor with the Upper Blackrock Spire revamp. Speaking of Finkel Skinner, while it's no longer obtainable today, if you still had it from back then, it's not exactly removed from your bank or anything, but its flavor text was removed, which used to say, Property of Finkel Einhorn. Grandmaster Adventurer. Now, it just says, also serves as a skinny knife. Its old flavor text is a reference to its lore in the Warcraft RPG, which states, This dagger looks like nothing more than an ordinary skinny knife, but it bears a powerful enchantment that makes it ideal for fighting beasts. Originally carried by the gnomish adventurer Finkel Einhorn, it has not been seen since his legendary effort to hunt down a massive canine creature said to be terrorizing a remote section of the Blasted Lands. The dagger's pommel appears wrapped in a well-tanned animal skin that changes to a different type each day. One day it might be a gray wolf hide, while the next it bears the orange and black stripes of a jungle tiger. Since the dagger dropped from the boss simply called the Beast, it's a safe bet to assume the gnome adventurer was not successful in his attempts at killing the massive canine creature and the fact that he comes out of the beast if it was killed and then skinned only proves that things did not go well for him. Einhorn also appears in Blackwing Descent in Chimeron's room, trapped in a cage. You have to talk to him to start the robot which allows you to not be one-shot by the boss. During his dialogues, he'll ask you if you've seen his skinny knife, obviously referencing his famous dagger from Vanilla. Finkel also appears as a quest giver in Mount Hyjal, and in your garrison inn, and will give you a quest to go into the new Upper Blackrock Spire to get his son's skinny knife back. In Hearthstone, when the card The Beast dies, your opponent will get a Finkel Einhorn card on their side of the field. 
The name Finkel Einhorn is also a reference to Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. In the movie, a big plot point was that the main villain was a former football player who cross-dressed as a woman. As a guy, he went by the name Ray Finkel, but as a girl, he went by Lois Einhorn, with the gnome this dagger refers to going by the two last names of the character, Finkel and Einhorn. Now, as to why a skinny dagger would be related to a cross-dressing villain from a 90s comedy movie is a mystery to me. 